get to Lindsay Anderson because she's watching the weather for this weekend. We've got all these plans going on. Obviously, things happening as early as tonight. Yes. What's the forecast look like? Yeah, tonight is going to be a little stormy. Actually, tomorrow night does look stormy, but I think during the day for a lot of these events, okay. we'll be dry. So uh, hopefully everything can be packed up or covered to prepare for those thunderstorms that will roll in, um, possibly after the event is over. Now, here's a look outside where we've got clear conditions, very quiet conditions. 55 degrees are current temperature. It feels so nice this morning. Refreshing, low humidity. You really can't beat that for a June morning. 62 Independence in downtown. Odessa's at 60, 61 in Chillicothe, 58 for you in St. Joseph, 59 degrees in Olathe. And it'll be a great day to get at the pool. Because the air is so dry, we're going to heat up really quickly. I'm pushing our high temperature today to about 89, which means there might be some locations in the low or 90s. Pretty amazing. We haven't seen the 90s quite yet this year, so maybe we'll have a run for it today. Then clouds are starting to increase after three or four o'clock. This is as a disturbance comes out of the Rocky Mountains and actually starting to develop a little bit here in western Kansas out towards Oklahoma and Texas. So that's going to increase our storm chances possibly in the early evening hours, maybe five, six, seven o'clock. At that point, they're going to be very scattered. Not everyone's going to be experiencing them the first round. The second round is going to be coming after about 10 or 11. 11 p.m. and that's the one that we may have to watch for the severe weather potential. So that means scattered storms are in the forecast even for the Royals game this evening. First pitch at 710. So there could be a storm or two around, but I think the majority of the severe chances and the severe risk may be coming in after the game is over. So let me explain here on your future cast where we have this little band that's coming in ahead of the main line. This is 5 p.m. today. Rain, a couple thunderstorms, but you can just tell these are not very strong, not very severe. They're going to move onto the Missouri side pretty quickly. By 11 p.m., here comes a band. This is a complex of storms, so it forms into a line. And as it races southeast, could produce some strong wind gusts, some really heavy rainfall with this, and might be an issue for us from 1 to 2 o'clock, or until 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. After that, lingering showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, thunder for Saturday afternoon, but for the most part, we should see some drier conditions uh, for Saturday. So the risk of severe weather has now increased a bit right up to the state line, right into Kansas City, northwest Missouri, northeast Kansas, mainly for the probability of really strong wind gusts. The hail not an issue and the tornado risk is not an issue today. Very low, low possibility of that. But look what happened Saturday night. Another chance of storms. This is where the threat level one out of five, that marginal risk goes right up to 36 highway here in central Missouri. So may have to watch for additional activity that will form uh, later in the day Saturday. You'll notice that 2 p.m. Saturday we're dry, some scattered clouds out there. Then look, boom, at 9 or 10 p.m. south of I-70, thunderstorms are forming. This could be a decent rainmaker for areas uh, close to Kansas City and areas south. Luckily, it's out early Sunday and the majority or the rest of your Sunday looks much better. So pretty interesting setup for us going into the weekend. It's going to start off really nice next week and then heat up quite a bit by the end of our 10 day forecast.